zeroth law of thermodynamics firstly let me teach you that word is thermodynamics well thermodynamics is formed from two different words thermo and dynamics the word thermo means heat and dynamics mean motion so in thermodynamics we study the transfer or motion of heat between different bodies for example consider a glass of water let i put ice cube in the glass of water after some time it will eventually melt into water now thermodynamics teaches us that heat energy transfer from the water to the ice as a result the ice molecules gain enough energy to break free from their solid state and become liquid here heat transfer between water and ice therefore remember that thermodynamics teaches us how heat transfer between different bodies now we will learn the easy concept of thermal equilibrium well there are two different methods to learn thermal equilibrium let consider two thermodynamic systems a and b let the volume of a system is v1 its temperature is t1 its pressure is p1 let the volume of system b is v2 its temperature is t2 its pressure is p2 now there is insulating wall between these two systems a and b let the temperature of system a t1 is greater than the temperature of system b t2 here temperature is different between the two systems a and b we expect that heat will transfer between them but the insulating wall between system a and system b means that no heat transfer between the two systems i mean due to insulating wall heat doesn't transfer between system a and system b we know that when no heat transfer between two systems their volume temperature and pressure remains constant remember that when volume temperature and pressure of any system remains constant and they do not change with respect to time we say that they are in thermal equilibrium the system a and system b are in thermal equilibrium because their volume temperature and pressure do not change with the passage of time therefore we say that a thermodynamic system is in thermal equilibrium when its parameters like temperature pressure volume etc do not change with the passage of time hence system a and system b are in thermal equilibrium now let me teach you the second concept of thermal equilibrium consider two thermodynamic systems a and b let the volume of system a is v1 its temperature is t1 its pressure is p1 let the volume of system b is v2 its temperature is t2 and its pressure is p2 now there is conducting wall present between these two systems as usual let temperature of system a t1 is greater than temperature of system b t2 here the temperature of two systems is different this conducting wall will allow heat to transfer from system a to system b so heat will transfer between these two systems until both the systems have the same temperature let me repeat it heat will transfer between these two systems until both the systems have the same temperature for example when the temperature of system a is 40 degree centigrade and that of system b is also 40 degree centigrade then heat transfer will stop and no more heat will transfer between these two systems we know that when system b gets heat from system a the parameters like its volume v2 its temperature t2 and its pressure p2 will no longer remain constant rather 
they all change. So in this case, the temperature of both the systems remain constant. Hence we say that they are in thermal equilibrium. Therefore we say that two thermodynamic systems are in thermal equilibrium when both the systems have the same temperature. The system A and system B are in thermal equilibrium because they have the same temperature. To conclude this whole concept, we learn that if temperature, volume, pressure etc. of a system remains constant with the passage of time, it is said to be in thermal equilibrium. Secondly, if temperature of two systems remain constant with the passage of time, they are said to be in thermal equilibrium. Hence noted down these two important concepts. Now let me teach you the easy concept of zeroth law of thermodynamics. Let consider two bodies A and B. Let A and B are in thermal equilibrium. Secondly, I place another body here. Let A and C are also in thermal equilibrium. Now listen carefully. We know that A and B are in thermal equilibrium. A and C are in thermal equilibrium. Then B and C are also in thermal equilibrium. I mean, if A is equal to B, A is equal to C, then B is also equal to C. Therefore, we define zeroth law of thermodynamics as if two bodies are in thermal equilibrium with a third body, then the two bodies are in thermal equilibrium with each other. This is known as zeroth law of thermodynamics. Simply remember that if A is equal to B, A is equal to C, then B is also equal to C. It is just like a mathematical equation. Thus remember that zeroth law of thermodynamics teaches us that if two bodies are in thermal equilibrium with a third body, then the two bodies are also in thermal equilibrium with each other. For example, the daily life application of zeroth law of thermodynamics is brewing tea. When you add hot water to tea leaves in a cup, the system consisting of the cup, water and tea leaves eventually reaches thermal equilibrium. This equilibrium ensures that the temperature throughout the system is uniform. I mean, inside the system, the temperature of cup, tea leaves, water remains constant. So we say that they are all in thermal equilibrium. Hence note down this important concept of zeroth law of thermodynamics.